While some inmates of the Hamilton County Justice Center are doubtless grateful for a warm bed and three square meals a day, others feel the service here leaves something to be desired. Okay, we're making a break. Take the chips and start smashing them. 33 year old Carla is waiting to hear whether her transfer to the jail's rehab program has been approved. In the meantime, she and a group of friends pool their commissary items to make a favorite jailhouse recipe. And you can uh, use different ingredients in this break. It doesn't always have to be Grippos and Cheez-Its and hot pickle. You can use um, beef and cheese sticks. Yeah, chicken, beef and cheese sticks. I'm using tuna. You can make chocolate breaks, put all the chocolate together. But we're gonna use tuna and uh, hot chips with pickle juice and tortilla chips. Well, and the variety well, of flavors okay. mixed together okay. makes it taste pretty decent. But it uses a lot out of your commissary. You Look at this. Like, you'll get, like, three different people and you all throw in, so that way it's not one person using all their commissary. So that's what you usually do. You get, like, two or three friends and all throw in together. After you mix it all together, you add the pickle juice to make it wet. It sticks the ingredients together. And you squish it. And you just squish it. Instead of just one person eating a bag of chips, four of us can sit here and laugh and cut up and eat a break. You just take your fingernails and cut it up because we don't have nothing to cut it with. When you come to jail, you learn how to improvise with things. You want to spoon it out? And that is a jailhouse break. The tuna gives it a lot of flavoring, and the hot pickle is hot. It's good.